Hi, I'm Allison Hayes, and today I'm going to show you around my house a little bit so you can see where I keep my oils so I remember to use them. Let's go. So here we are in the kitchen, and you can see I have my Abode products sitting here, my dish soap and scrubber and the uh, surface spray, really love those. But what I really wanted to show you was just this simple way to store oils in the kitchen. This is just a little bamboo drawer organizer that just seemed like a really good size um, for my kitchen. And it holds oils that I like to use in the diffuser. As you can see, I've got that running behind it. So it's here in the morning that when I come in, I put oils in my diffuser and also for oil pulling. If you don't know what that is, we'll talk about that another time. So I also have a few oils in here that I like for cooking or cleaning. Like I've got the Abode blend in here. I've got lemon in here. I've got a lot of citrus oils in here. I like to keep citrus oils right by my water dispenser in the kitchen. That way I can add oils easily when I fill my water bottle. If I'm using a water bottle, I just fill it with water and then add the oils. But if I'm doing a glass, I like to put the oil in first and then fill it because that mixes the oil and the water well before I drink it. In a water bottle, of course, I can just shake that. And you want to make sure you're using glass or metal, not plastic. If you have a dispenser that you use from your refrigerator that filters your water, you can just leave an oil right there next to the dispenser to, again, remind you to add those to your water when you drink it. Here's how I like to keep my oils organized in my bathroom. These are my skincare oils like Helichrysum and Roman Chamomile. I actually have rose in here, blue tansy, some frankincense. Um, but I also have my digestion oils because it seems to be in the bathroom where I sometimes need to put a drop of digestion under my tongue or rub it on my feet. I also love the Kids Tamer blend. Oh, it is really yummy. And I use that to roll on my belly if I need to. Uh, I also have a couple of blends that I've made for myself. I One that I use as a deodorant. But these are the oils that I like to keep in my bathroom so I remember to use them with my skincare. I remember to use them when I get out of the shower, before bed, after brushing my teeth. I have on guard here, of course, too. So uh, this is just one way that you can keep your oils organized in your bathroom so they're not scattered everywhere. As you can see, this is just a cosmetics crystal holder and I have really, really liked using it. So that's what I did for you. Let's talk about the bedroom. So on my little side table, I always leave my body butter out because I like putting that on every night before I go to bed on my legs and my feet. I've also got a linen spray here. I sometimes have oils sitting out, but I try to be organized and keep them in my drawer here. So you can see I've got a little basket here that has some throat drops. I love the on-guard throat drops and the breathe ones for if I wake up with a scratchy throat or some respiratory issues. The ginger's great if I ever wake up nauseous. And of course I've got more body butter in here. The lip balm. The Breathe Stick, Correct X, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil, Deep Blue Stick, things that if I wake up in the middle of the night or even before I go to bed, if I'm feeling achy or just need some support, it's just all really handy here for me when I get in bed. And then I like to keep my bedroom oils in this little container. So these are oils that I always want to have with me. Aroma Touch and Lavender and Grapefruit and I've got Frankincense and just all my favorite oils, but I like to keep them in this. It keeps them organized. But then when I travel, <laughs> all I have to do is grab the little bag and I know I've got all my important oils with me. So that's what I do next to my bed. Also in my bedroom, I use the Dawn humidifying diffuser. This is awesome. You would think that living in the Pacific Northwest, it would be humid enough that I would not need a humidifier. But oh my gosh, in the winter, I need it really badly. So here I just keep a collection of whatever oils I'm enjoying right now. I always have Breathe here, it's hidden back there somewhere, but I also love cardamom, I love lime, some of the new blends that we get sometimes. This is a great place that I try them out, diffuse them when I'm sleeping. And just a little tip here, the place that you add the oils in this diffuser is on the bottom. You don't drop them in the top up here. Even though I think the instructions say to do that, you want to add the oils in there. If you do that, they'll smell really nice and strong. If you do them up in the top, they'll be really weak. You won't love them nearly as much. So add your oils in the bottom and then put your water in and start it. And 
Mm. This is probably my favorite diffuser, <laughs> even though it's a humidifier. It's, I think, my favorite diffuser because it puts out such a great aroma. All right, I hope that was helpful. In addition to what I showed you, you will also find essential oils on my desk, in my desk drawer, in my car, in my laundry room, in my purse, in my bag that I carry when I travel, and at every single diffuser in my house. So basically everywhere. But what I'm really hoping is that this gave you some ideas of where and how you can keep your essential oils so that you'll remember to use them. Because they can't help you if you don't open the lid. Happy oiling!